Roger. Pretty. Good to see you in Detroit. Hey, Kev. Kevin, I want to meet Molly. Hey. Molly, nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. Molly purchased this house and five other lots around it, and now she's built a garden on it. Wow, five lots, huh? You got a lot of land downtown. It's a lot, yeah. <laughs> so how do you get your hands on five lots? Well, um, we actually acquired our properties from the Detroit Land Bank mm -hmm. through their adjacent lot program. Each of our five lots were $100 each. $100 for a lot in the city. That is amazing. Exactly. Yeah, there's <laughs> still a lot of work required to get it to be a usable vegetable garden. There were houses here, so the first thing I'd like to see is a soil test done. Absolutely. So if you're going to be growing food, you've got to make sure um, that you test for contamination as well as fertility. Right. And so you're obviously growing stuff, so you're not contaminated. Correct. Do you have good soil? Because, it, as you say, it was a house lot at one point. Exactly. So um, what we had to do in order to be successful was actually add a lot of compost and organic material to our soil. Good stuff, yeah. And, and what are your crops? What do you got going on in here? So many things. So um, we grow all of our favorite stuff, um, a lot of winter squash, uh, salad greens, kale, but one of our favorite things is definitely our tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You are um, loaded with tomatoes. Loaded, yes. All right. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful garden. Congrats. We appreciate you showing us around. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you so Thanks much. For Thanks, down. Molly. Bye. Yeah. Kevin, this is a little different than Molly's. This is a working market farm in the middle of the city. Hi, Jerry Ann. Hi, welcome. Thanks for having us out on a beautiful rainy day. Yes, we love the rain. <laughs> so tell us about your operation here. This is impressive. Thank you. We're very proud of this space. We started uh, running the Oakland Avenue Urban Farm back in 2008 at a time when there were no shopping opportunities for people in community that were healthy. So how do we address that need and how do we do it in a way the community wants it? So we brought them in, started talking about it today. Eight years later, we're over 50 lots in ownership, wow. and we're on a 4.8 acre wow. footprint. That's a farm. It's, it, it, it is a farm. The city says it is a farm. <laughs> well, you want to show us the other part of Come the garden? On. Wow, you've got a greenhouse right in the middle of the city. Right. What are you growing in here now? We have spinach, and we have Swiss chard. This year, we decided to experiment with some other crops. So we have some late tomatoes, some peppers, and we're even trying to learn to grow hibiscus plants. Hmm. And so you're able now to grow throughout most of the year because of the greenhouse? Absolutely. So in Michigan, we get about six good months of growing season. With a hoop house, we can extend it to 10 to maybe 11 months nice. of growing. So how big is your operation throughout the whole farm? I and mean, what's your output? We're growing um, somewhere between 8,000 and 11,000 pounds of food a year, wow. depending on the year. And at our farmer's markets, which we have seven of them during the week, we're seeing somewhere between four to 600 people a week. A lot of people using this. Well, to our eyes, it looks like you guys have got it figured out. This place looks great. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. At a repurposed vacant lot in the heart of the city, we spoke with Trish Hubble, director of The Greening of Detroit. At this urban farm, they have an apprentice program that provides over 900 hours of hands-on training in farming and agriculture. In fact, one of our apprentices from a couple years ago now runs the site. Meet Romando. Hey, Romando. Hey, Romando. Hey, how you doing? Good. So tell me, what do you think of this whole apprenticeship program? Um, I enjoyed the apprenticeship the two years that I was here. Um, I enjoy it even more now, the fact that, you know, I'm teaching the apprenticeship program and actually one of the managers of it. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it feels great to be from the city and able to have that chance and show the fellow Detroiters how to, you know, live sustainable and grow their own produce. Well, it's obvious you have a green thumb. Oh, thank you, man. I like to think of it as a green mind. Green Comes mind, in man. Handy. Good. Yes, sir. <laughs> so what do you think this means to the people of Detroit, that the folks who live here, to have these farms all throughout the city? Uh, I think it's great for the city to be able to have access to, you know, fresh produce and be able to take the initiative to be able to grow exactly what they like in their yeah. homes. Well, from what we've seen, I mean, there's definitely something going on in Detroit yeah. with urban farming. So thanks for what you guys do and, and for showing us around. Oh, yeah, no problem. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Cauliflower looking good. Yeah, it'll be ready to end the next month. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.